फ्रेंड्स मैं हूं पायल गुड़ियाल वर्ल्ड कप टूर्नामेंट के फाइनल मैच में अच्छा खेलने के बावजूद भी न्यूजीलैंड हार गया आईसीसी ने बाउंड्री काउंट रूल के जरिए इंग्लैंड को वर्ल्ड कप 2019 का विनर घोषित कर दिया गया इस रूल से इंग्लैंड वर्ल्ड कप तो जीत गया लेकिन टूर्नामेंट के इतिहास में पहली बार इस्तेमाल हुए इस रूल आरोप सवाल खड़े होने शुरू हो गए वहीं अब लीजिए आईसीसी के इस नियम की आलोचना करने वालों में अब बॉलीवुड के महानायक अमिताभ बच्चन का भी नाम शामिल हो गया है अमिताभ बच्चन ने ट्विटर पर एक जोक शेयर करते हुए आईसीसी का मजाक उड़ाया है अमिताभ ने लिखा आपके पास दो हजार रूपए मेरे पास भी दो हजार रूपए आपके पास दो हजार रूपए का एक नोट मेरे पास पाँच के चार कौन ज्यादा मीर आई जिसके पास पाँच के चार नोट वो ज्यादा रईस है प्रणाम गुरुदेव इसके अलावा बिग बी ने आईसीसी के इस रूल से जुड़ा एक और ट्वीट किया और लिखा इसलिए माँ कहती थी चौका बर्तन आना चाहिए तो देखा आपने अमिताभ बच्चन ने ना सिर्फ आईसीसी के फैसले का मजाक उड़ाया है बल्कि उनके आलोचना भी की है बता दें कि बिग बी से पहले बॉलीवुड एक्टर शाहिद कपूर और परेश रावल भी आई सी सी अपनी भड़ास निकाल चुके हैं बता दें की वर्ल्ड कप दो में इंडिया ने बेहद ही शानदार गेम खेला था हर किसी को उम्मीद थी कि इस बार वर्ल्ड कप भारत ही जीतेगा लेकिन ऐसा नहीं हुआ भारत न्यूजीलैंड के खिलाफ सेमीफाइनल में हार गई थी हालांकि उसके बाद भी हर किसी ने भारतीय क्रिकेट टीम के हौसले की खूब तारीफ की थी वैसे आप अमिताभ के स्वीट से कितने सहमत हैं? हमें कमेंट करके जरूर बताए थोड़ा पीछे है हाँ हाँ You kept away from his room, <laughs> and there was uh, an unwritten code of conduct in the family that when my father is writing in his study, he is not to be disturbed. Uh, many a times uh, we found that to be a little odd, but then mother would explain to us that uh, it's important for creative people and especially the writers uh, to have their moment of solitude. 
and to be able to express themselves, they needed the peace and harmony of a home to be able to do that. That was some of the early impressions that we had. Um, but as we grew up, um, there were many occasions when, uh, uh, if he was doing an important piece of work, um, I remember that uh, he was asked by Pandit Jawala Nehru to translate uh, a biography on him, written by Michael Brisha, uh, into Hindi. And uh, there was a deadline that he had finished before, the, before his birthday. And he was working day and night, and he put out a little placard, almost like a painting outside the door of his studies. That meant that nobody was allowed to go in and disturb him. And this used to happen for you know days and days and days. We never really knew how he was or what he was doing. That's the kind of temperament that we grew up in. But yes, every time um, my father would um, write a piece of poem, uh, we were the first people that he would introduce the poem. And in particular, he would uh, ask us to read it in almost the same graph and the, and the tone that he had written. And I felt that that was an extremely important exercise because later on in my work as a professional actor, I found that um, the respect that we need to give writers is the most important aspect in filmmaking. I feel that writers are the most important ingredient in filmmaking. They, you know, design the character, design the story, uh, they design the dress, the location, everything. And once they write, it's written with a lot of conviction and strength. And it's important to be able to gauge their mind and the graph of their language before you actually say your lines. So some of the things that we learned, uh, what I learned from my father was to be able to be able to recite some of his works in the same graph and language. That I found very fun. Other than that, of course, uh, the numerous uh, uh, people of letters that used to visit him and to be just sitting quietly and listening to them converse and, and discuss various aspects of life, poetry and literature was indeed a, a very revealing aspect. I remember when we were in Allahabad, uh, the, there was a, a union that was formed by the students that he was teaching. He was teaching English literature in, in Allahabad University and they used to sit after midnight and discuss you know, words, literature, poems, writings. And many a times, even though we were not allowed to be awake at that moment, we would sit up and just be present with them and listen to them. Those are some of the experiences that we grew up with. Well, what do you remember of those days, that time, which was magical hour? Well, just, just the, uh, the concept of, you know, picking each other's brains, um, writing, uh, somebody's work used to be discussed. Somebody's poem used to be discussed, why he wrote it, what was the intent, much like what you just described in your description of your book. Um, many people go through certain um, emotions or, or the need to write something and to be able to express it in verse is, is indeed a quality that we used to gather then. Judging your father, Tarun Kumar Badri, was a celebrated writer, making great books on the ground. Tell us about which of his books is your favorite. His first, that was a travel note that he did. He traveled around the world. And what about it that impacted you so? Knowledge and uh, his observation, his take. That kind of independence. And... Did you read to your children or now? Do you read to your grandchildren? Absolutely. What do you Every read? night. Really? Uh, I have to tell you a story. Yeah. My granddaughter, that's my daughter's daughter, Navya Navi, when she was little, I used to make up stories every night. Mm. And in Hindi, when you 
tell children some stories, you always say, Ekta Raja or Ekti Raja. Aise, aise, you know, because I heard my father-in-law also hmm. saying this. And every day, I'd say, they'd get lost in a boat. Hmm. The prince and the princess, the king would be worried, the queen would be crying. And I used to, every day, add a little bit. Uh, fortunately, they didn't live with us. They'd go back to Delhi, so I got some rest. The second child arrived. Now I had to tell a story to both of them. And I started telling the same story, uh, adding a little bit, and paying a little more attention to the prince as well. It used to be more the princess before.